Good morning, everyone. Granny here. Praise God. One day closer to going home, y'all. One day closer. I say that every day. I don't know if that means that we're fixing to get out of here or whether that means I'm fixing to go. I don't, it don't matter to me. I'm still, every day is one day closer. Praise God. I love you guys. I'm so glad to be here. I'm sorry I missed y'all the last two days. We just, me and my husband just had a lot to do over the weekends, getting ready. It, the weather's cold here now. I mean, we, we kind of glad to see it come, but it's hard work for us because we have to build a fire in the, in the, uh, uh, fire burning heater. But hey, you know, it keeps us warm. Praise God. I'm glad we got one because I tell you, without one, we'd be freezing. Uh, I wanted to read today a, a testimony that somebody sent me. They sent me this last night. It kind of gave me an idea of what I want to, to do on my video today. And you know, you guys, y'all can give me, y'all can give me uh, uh, ideas on what to talk about on my videos. That's what this is. It's Bible study. It's fellowship. It's Bible study. If y'all want me to discuss something and we can discuss, talk about it and, and, uh, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I accept ideas to talk about, um, and I'll, I'll, it helps me get into the word. I get into the word and I look these things up and, and, and this, that's what this channel's done for me. It's actually helped me just as much. It's gotten me more into the word of God. And I, I've opened my Bible a lot more since I started doing this channel. Praise God. You know, I love getting into the word. I, I found out how fun it was. I used to hate reading, man, because I was forced to read as a child all the time, and uh, I, I hated reading, but but this this channel has helped me get into the Word more, and I've opened my Bible a lot more since I started doing this channel, so praise the Lord. God is bringing us all together and bringing us close to Him. Praise God. He has everything to do with this channel. Every miracle, everything that happens on this channel is because God, God, all the glory belongs to God. He is wonderful and praise god for this channel i'm it's it's a blessing and all of y'all y'all's hard work of praying for people and and we pray for people we study the bible we get into the word we're helping one another get more into the word and we're praying for for so many people i counted on my uh prayer list 104 and i've gotten 10 since since then so we we're praying for a lot of people and and i'm hopefully more you know, we want to pray for everybody. So anyway, not to mention the fact we're praying for countries. We're praying for everyone. That's what we do. We're prayer warriors. I love it. But I want to read this testimony that somebody gave me last night. And it and it, and it really, uh, I've, get, I've gotten a lot of prayer requests over this. So I want to read this real quick to you. And uh, it's from uh, uh, Amanda in Christ. <clears throat> and she says, Dear Granny, I needed I needed counsel on an issue. I was under attack from the enemy. A family member said that they were going to curse me. I did fall sick and had pain in the same place for months. I'd pray I'd pray it off and it would come back. I'd also wake up with something crushing my chest. I had testing done and when I get to the ER, I'd find I'd be I'd be fine. So I was at the at that pretty much saying that it was spiritual. I recently grew in grace, and the prayers you and others have prayed have uh, have prayed have really helped. The devil hates grace, and I recently have come to the knowledge we are truly saved by Jesus Christ and his work, not our work. Praise God. I struggled being work, works-based for a while. I thought I wasn't perfect enough to be saved, but we are saved on God's perfection and not our own. I recently felt evil near me. I had a feeling I was trying to come back, so I prayed a few psalms because they comfort me when I'm under attack. I really understand how David felt when he called out to God. They comfort me in my attacks. I felt released in the spirit 
and weights came off me. And the person that said they cursed me actually wound up going to ER for the same thing, chest pains and suffocation. I was not surprised because I had felt they did harm they did harm me, but I was surprised it happened to them. It uh, it identified to me that they actually did maybe curse me and when they said they would would I did I didn't tell the person anything. I I did or if I was freed. Then I started to think, did I do something wrong? I didn't want to be engaged in any witchcraft. I just like David wanted God to make this person sending these attacks to stop. I'm sure God showed me it was it was them time and time again. I know the devil is behind the person and I wanted the spirits to just leave my home. I didn't want to hurt anyone, any people. Even though I'm tired they uh, uh I'm tired they are doing this. I will say God had had me pray for them. I actually prayed for them while they are going to the ER and I didn't know because I hadn't found out uh I I hadn't found out to to way after the event. Then later that night I read Psalms as I do every night. Praise God. This person did exactly what I've been saying to do. Uh, when somebody puts a, and, and I'm telling you, my son's going through this right now. When somebody curses you, when the devil attacks you, you, you go into prayer and scripture. I mean, that's, she handled it just perfectly. I couldn't, I, I couldn't have told her anything better than what she did. She did perfect. Praise God. That is a person that knew exactly what to do and God had her heart. And it and and like I told her, you know, it sounds to me like the weapon formed against you did not prosper. You got well when you had to go to the ER. You you fought it. You fought it, even though it was attacking you. You fought it, and and it the weapon didn't prosper. You fought it in prayer and scripture, which is exactly what I always say to do: prayer and scripture. And that's the results of it. It is not it is not her fault because that person that that was trying to curse her it's not her fault that they ended up in the er themselves with the very thing that they try to curse her with you know it's their fault because they were involved in that to begin with i mean just you know be careful who you're gonna send curses to you know it's best not to play with that it's best to go to christ if you if you have something against your brother it's best to pray over it and then maybe you two can reason together that's what this world don't understand. You can reason together if you go to God in prayer. You know, he will help you. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. He will help you bring bring reasoning, you know, agree together. He will he will you can meet each other in the middle. People don't understand that. So this person did the right thing. This person did everything you know, everything that it's supposed to do. In Deuteronomy uh, uh, chapter 8, 10 through 12, there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or daughter to pass through the fire, or that he useth divination, or an uh, observer of times, or an enchanted, enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer of the consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a uh, necromancer, uh, what, whatever, a ne I have to Google that, whatever a necromancer is, if somebody knows that, please let me know, you can let me know in the comments, for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord, and because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doeth drive them out from before thee. So the Lord speaks very bad of these things, and these curses are 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 part of witchcraft. It's a part of divination. You know, you want to curse somebody when you speak bad things on people. You're and and you're mad because you're mad at somebody. You're you're speaking curses on them, and you have to be careful with that because if they're a child of God, that curse may may bounce off them and bounce, uh, ricochet. 
and bounce on you. So, you know, you got to be careful with that. It's, and it won't be that person's fault. You know, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. The, the devil likes to make people think that they can cast curses and, and do witchcraft. and He loves that, you know. So in Romans 8, 37 through 39, and I looked up all these things because I, I felt this was important to get out. Romans 8, 37 through 39, nay, in all these things, we, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing, not even curses. <laughs> Praise God. First Peter five eight through nine. Be sober, be vigilant, be because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. He who is in the world, it you know, uh, the devil, he, he goes looking for people. And just about the time that this curse started affecting this person, they went into prayer and psalms. Psalms comforted them. God not only brought comfort to them, but he took that that curse away from them. And it bounced right back on the person that, they, that it, uh, it affected, that put the curse it bounced right back on you so you got to be careful who you speak bad things to you know you know uh my son's going through this right now where this devil worshiper and i keep telling him son no weapons formed against you will prosper you are a, a child of the most high the, you know the, the, their curses they they are doing to themselves you know, don't you worry about that. You worry about your family and your life and, and, and keeping a roof over the head and, and, you know, and don't even worry about that. Just pray over it. Uh, don't even acknowledge this person. Just don't even acknowledge them. And I know how it feels to, to have a family member that just, you know, you feel like, you know, cause I had a family member that, that, that thought they could do these things and, you know, uh, I had to separate myself from this person. I did a whole video on it. I had to separate my per the, myself from this person, even though it led me to doing bad things. I still had to separate myself, you know. Uh, I had a stepdaddy that, you know, he was an atheist. He was a he was a, done terrible things. We have to forgive these people, you know, and and pray for them, like she said. I. She, she told me she still continues to pray for this person and she prays for this person and that's what we're to do. And I, you know, I was led to, to, to and I, I remember when I was a little girl in my bathtub praying because I had, I had received a brutal beating that night and I started, I started praying to God and I told God, I said, please don't let that man hurt me no more. And God told me to go in my closet and pray for my family. I couldn't understand why God told me to go in my closet and pray for my family. This man is so mean. Why, not, why should I pray for him? But I did what God told me to do. And terrible things happened to this man. And I hated to see. I felt sorry for him. I still feel sorry for the fact that that's, that he died with all these afflictions on him. I really do. But it was terrible what happened to him afterwards. But he was a believer. He became a believer. God brought him to his knees. And he came to believe in the Lord and he got saved before he died. But it was terrible what it took to bring him there. It was terrible. I felt sorry for him. But sometimes, you know, that's what it takes to, to bring somebody to the Lord. And if you're praying for somebody to come to the Lord, especially somebody that's casting curse, man, how many jewels are you going to get for that in heaven? Man, you praying for somebody that, if, that, uh, brought up these afflictions on you and you started praying for them, man, 
and God will bring them, he will bring them to, to their knees. They will come to know the Lord instead of religion. Praise God. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with y'all. I thought it was something really good to talk about. And I'm going to go over this list. We got uh, 10 new names on it. Um, I had to buy a whole new book, y'all. So I want to pray for the new names on it. Uh, and we're still praying for all the other names. Like I said, you know, I'm going to start just adding the new names and it, because it would take me a whole video just going over. Uh, let's see, we about 114 names now. We're up to 114 people we're praying for, plus other things. So I'm going to go over this, and we'll pray for these people real quick. Ali Cat, married to a narcissist that is demonic, and two boys to be saved till Jesus comes. Uh, yeah, we definitely need to pray for Ali Cat. We need to pray for, for them. Uh, Heather of a of the mountains, uh, for family re reunite re reunification with two eldest children and their salvation relationship, um, uh, her and her husband and youngest son to be healed, and husband has mental health issues and demonic attack demonic attacks, uh, user J W, uh. And two children, brother, and unborn grandson. Uh, Renee, for demonic person, is attacking her for many years uh, and attacks her financially. Uh, Josh G, being attacked hard than ever before. Hop unafraid, prayer, just ask for prayers. Brian Payne is uh, for anxiety. Amanda in Christ, uh, Curses and voodoo and witchcraft to be removed from Anthony, and Anna, and six-year-old Amelia. Uh, Juanita Evans, uh, family, Danielle, Jeanette, Autumn, uh, Neva, Jack, Goliath, Sonny, Michael, to come to the Lord. Trooper, victory over lust. Uh, Angel, Angel. Uh, I think that's uh, the one that said their name was Angel. I'm not sure. Let me know. Um, stay in the word, protection from evil, and wisdom in the spirit. They just got saved, I believe. So we're going to pray for these people real quick. And that's what I'm saying. You see how many? And we've got more in the old uh, list uh, before this that are being attacked by evil ones and curses. And you hear this? The devil's attacking. And I prayed last night to God. You know, and I pray it every night now for God to push these demons back. They can't have us until we're out of here. They can't have this. They can't have this world until we're out of here. <clears throat> and I pray for God to push back on them. You know, please, Lord, you know, let your will be done. But uh, help us out till we're out of here, Lord. And, and bring peace to these people that are being attacked demonically. And y'all just get into the word, word and prayer. The word and prayer. If he, if 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 uh, we abide in Jesus and His word abide in us, no weapons formed against us will prosper. And that that's a promise. That's in the Bible. It's a promise. Praise God. But anyway, let's pray over these this prayer list and say a quick prayer. Uh, I was always told to say uh, John fourteen fourteen. I believe. Let me make sure, y'all. I want to. I want to get this right. I have it wrote down. Yeah, John fourteen fourteen says, "If we ask anything in Jesus' name, and if it brings glory to the kingdom of God, He will do it." And thank you, Father, for giving us that. We we pray it every day. And I think there was something else, but I can't find it. Um, where two or more are gathered together in Jesus' name. There he is. So let's all pray together for these folks. And dear Lord, we bring this list to you with it, with all these names on it. And I believe there would be 114 people, Lord, praying for their families, Lord, praying for their their healings, Lord. Uh, many people suffering with pain. We got people that are praying for their families to come to you, Lord. 
uh, many people praying for their children who the devil is lying to and the, the devil is sending liars to them, Lord. And uh, we pray for you to send someone uh, in their lives to, to speak the truth in their heart, Lord. Uh, we pray for your will to be done in these people, Lord. And, and I pray all these people in pain, Lord, that you bring comfort to them. I pray, Lord, that that be your will. And I pray for all these people that are being attacked by the by demons, Lord. We pray for you to to send your mighty angels to help them battle these demons, Lord, and 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 in your word and in prayer. Uh, help them to receive victory over these battles, Lord. Uh, uh, and we thank you, Lord, that that you are with us. We thank you, Lord, and, and we, we ask you, Lord, to, to watch over our countries, all of our countries, all over the world, Lord, and push back on these demons that are attacking our countries and, and trying to uh, trying to take over, Lord. We ask you to put a, put a bit in their mouth and, and pull them back, Lord, until we are out of here. We look forward to you coming to get us, Lord. And we are watching and we are waiting patiently because we love you, Lord. And we know your timing is right. And we thank you, Lord, for all that you do. You are wonderful. You are great. You are mighty. And there is no limit to what you can do. And we understand, Lord, that you, you are in control here. And we thank you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. God bless all y'all. Thank y'all for, for, for watching my videos. Thank y'all for praying for all these people. Y'all are hard work, hard working prayer warriors. And God bless all of you. And, and I love you. God loved you first. And thank y'all for watching.